Hello lovely people, welcome to a new video and a new vlog. In continuation to the Casablanca vlog series where I show you some of old and exquisite touristic places in the heart of Casablanca, today I will take you with me to discover this beautiful bohemian artistic neighborhood. Welcome to Al Habus neighborhood. A true historic pearl not far from the majestic royal palace which actually I tried to film for you guys but I was uh, checked by a police guard and he said you are not allowed to uh, film here so that's it the Habus district developed during the French protectorate mainly from uh, the 1920s to 1930s to accommodate several families of traders from various regions of Morocco. This migratory movement is provoked by the policy of Marshal Lyoti, who wishes to separate the areas of residence of Europeans and those of Moroccans. The name Habus refers to the traditional religious assembly that organizes the allocation of housing within the Medina. Uh, the neighborhood plans were designed in 1917 by Albert Laprat, assistant to Henry Prost, then by August Cadet and the demand Brian. The neighborhood was built and on land donated by a certain Jewish family uh, whose name Haim ben Dahan to the Habus administration. The Habus district offers a total immersion in the Casablanca of 1930s and 20s, rich in history and traditions, and its narrow streets lined with stalls and bazaars, time seems to stand still. Thus, the new Medina, as it's called, was built in perfect response to the style of a classic Medina, combining Moroccan tradition on one hand and modern urban planning rules on the other, which makes it a unique example in terms of architecture. Far from the noisy and lively streets of the old Medinas, the Habus presents a peaceful and calm atmosphere and an atmosphere which is surrounded around spirituality sorry, and calmness. It comes of course from the beautiful nearby Muhammadi Mosque, which from the many tiny and uh, many tiny offices of the of adults uh, that surround it. These representatives of justice, as they call them, consulted to transcribe all acts related to personal status, from um, divorces, marriages, uh, tenants, and so on and so forth. A little further on, the, uh, the street they offer libraries with with its beautiful arcades and numerous shop windows offers magnificent bound books, precious illuminations and example of sought after calligraphy. I apologize for not being able to film this because for some reason I found them closed but I believe it because it's Friday so just avoid going to this place on Fridays. M many shops are closed for uh, for uh, Jumu'a prayer. Behind the uh, uh, begins Ibn Khaldun street, there is a real open air theater playing out with all the sellers of jewelry, uh, jalabas and other slippers. There are beautiful pieces of traditional Moroccan craftsmanship or uh, brought up to date. The stores with their colorful objects piled up on the ground look like real Alibaba caves. It's fascinating, guys. <laughs> this is the ideal place to stock up on slippers, ganduras, tunics, belts, bags, and so on. The colors are shimmering. The smell of leather is omnipresent and strong. 
Al Muhammad Mosque. This mosque is located in the heart of the mythical Habus district in Casablanca. The Al Muhammad Mosque is an essential element of the cultural and spiritual epicenter of the metropolis, with a unique architectural uh, character and a, a glorious past that dates back to the 1930s. The Al Muhammadi Mosque, frequently attended by the faithful, especially in this blessed month of Ramadan, owes its name to the Sultan Sid Muhammad bin Yusuf, who regularly visited the site of this religious building, whose construction work began on June 29, 1934, and whose inauguration was to take place two years later. It is built on an area of 3,600 meters, including 2,707 uh, meters covered with carpets and 200 meters square uh, reserved for women, with a capacity of more than 6,000 faithful. The Al Muhammadi Mosque is managed by 25. Uh, religious nominees and has many worship services and facilities it has seven doors spread over its three facades three facades sorry the one overlooking the mosque square being considered the main entrance